the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. John Anthony and Amanda de Church shares your joy and warmly welcomes you together with your family and friends. As today, in the presence of God our Father, you establish between yourselves a lifelong partnership. May the Lord hear you on this your joyful day. May he send you help from heaven and protect you. May he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill every one of your prayers. Let us pray. Be attentive to our prayers, O Lord, and in your kindness, pour out your grace on these your servants, John Anthony and Amanda, that coming together before your altar, they may be confirmed in love for one another. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. I now ask Victoria to proclaim the first reading. A reading from the book of Sirach. Blessed the husband of a good wife, twice lengthened are his days. A worthy wife brings joy to her husband. Peaceful and full is his life. A good wife is a generous gift bestowed upon him who fears the Lord. Be he rich or poor, his heart is content, and a smile is ever on his face. A gracious wife delights her husband. Her thoughtfulness puts flesh on his bones. A gift from the Lord is her governed speech, and her firm virtue is of surpassing worth. Choicest of blessings is a modest wife, priceless her chaste soul. A holy and decent woman adds grace upon grace. Indeed, no price is worthy of her temperate soul. Like the sun rising in the Lord's heavens, the beauty of a virtuous wife is the radiance of her home. The word of the Lord. Yes. 
everlasting love I have called you and you are mine I have loved you with an everlasting love I have called you and you Jennifer to proclaim the second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, put on as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness and patience, bearing with one another. <clears throat> as the Lord has forgiven you, so must you also do. And all over these put on love, that is, the bond of perfection. And let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you were also called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom you teach and admonish one another, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. If we love one another, God will live in us in perfect love. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this, so that my joy might be in you, and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment, love one another as I love you. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. Here we are in this beautiful, beautiful day. It's a great day. 
It's a great day in which we celebrate the sacrament of holy matrimony. As you know, tomorrow is another great day, Palm Sunday. And the Sunday after that is the greatest Sunday of the entire year, Easter Sunday, the day of the resurrection, the day of glory. And here we are in this church, in the parish church, that Amanda belongs to, in which she received her first Holy Communion and the Sacrament of Confirmation. She wasn't baptized here, but she almost got all of her sacraments, almost. And uh, John Anthony got his sacraments not too far from here in uh, St. Uh, Ignatius of Loyola, or here. I got you mixed up, I'm sorry. Okay, both baptisms someplace else, okay. All right, I'm on, f I'm on a roll right now. So, and here in this day, this great, great day in which you will profess your love solemnly before God to one another, before Jesus Christ in the Blessed Sacrament, before your family and friends who are here. This day is full of excitement, full of joy. They were, your family was so excited, they were already standing up before Amanda was even in the church. They're so excited. And, of course, there's a lot of reason to be excited. A great day in which we rejoice in the great mystery of love and the gift of family, of how God, in his wondrous wisdom, provides those people in our life that we truly, truly need. Those people that inspire us, those people that help us to be a better Christian, to be a better person, to be reminded that we are loved, loved by Jesus Christ and loved by others. You know, it's a great adventure, in fact, um, the beautiful gift of, of love, to love someone to love someone completely, whole and entire. And you know, there's an adventure to that because one doesn't know what's ahead, right? One doesn't know about the months, the years, the great years of joy, the great years of wonder of what's going to happen, right? And of course, I'm sure already you have like goals you have in mind, plans you have in mind, right? But the Lord too, the Lord has his plan, and he's already working that plan out in actuality, that by you coming together, by you professing your vows to one another, that you are doing what God has willed, that you two will belong to each other in just a few moments before God's very eyes, before his divine plan, before his divine will, that you will belong to each other. But then there's like another plan ahead of you that we, that you perhaps don't see completely yet. Perhaps you already have it somewhere in the horizon, in your mind, in your heart. But the Lord knows, he knows what's ahead, right? And the great mystery is to embrace that, to take that act of faith, to recognize that to love anyone, right, is willing to give one's whole heart, willing to even make oneself vulnerable, to love a friend, to love a neighbor, to love a sibling, to love a spouse. To love a spouse requires all. You know, it's one thing, of course, and I'm sure it's an emotional day, I would say, to your family, parents, grandparents, it's one thing for parents to accept one day that their child is no longer a child anymore, that one has to let go. But for a spouse, one stays for the remainder of one's life, that that person is always there by your side in times of great joy such as today, but in days of great suffering, days that we'll all share together as a church in a couple days from now on Good Friday, the death of our Lord, 
And then just two days after that, the great joy of Easter that we all share together as Christian. But in each and every single one of us, that there is that joy, there is that pain, there is that suffering, there is that triumph, that we all take part in the circumstances that in which we live our lives. And John Anthony and Amanda, all you have to do to be reminded of that, that you're not in this alone, that even with your family, that there's someone else there, far but so close, transcended but so near, and that is the Lord Jesus Christ, that he's giving you all the graces that you need, all the blessings from Holy Mother Church. And at times we struggle, at times we fail, that's what the sacrament of reconciliation is for, the sacrament of penance, and to be nourished, to be strengthened, to be fortified in one's faith. That is what Holy Communion is all about, in which we share in the sacrifice of Christ. And speaking of sacrifice, that is what love requires, doesn't it? To give oneself, to deny oneself, to lay down oneself, for the good of the other, for one's loved one. And so we rejoice with you on this day. John Anthony and Amanda, may you have many, many years of joy and peace together. God bless you. Beloved, you have come together into the house of the church so that in the pr presence of the church's minister and the community, your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with his sacred seal. Christ abundantly blesses the love that binds you through a special sacrament. He enriches and strengthens those he has already consecrated by holy baptism, that they may be faithful to each other forever and assume all the responsibilities of married life. And so, in the presence of the Church, I ask you to state your intentions. John Anthony and Amanda, have you come here to enter into, into marriage without coercion, freely and wholeheartedly? The affirmative response is, I have. And now the affirmative response is, I am. Are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live. And now the affirmative response is the same, I am. Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and to bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? Since it is your intention to enter the covenant of holy matrimony, join your right hands and declare your consent before God and his church. To be faithful to you, I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in, good times and in sickness and in health, in sickness and health, to love you, to love you, and to honor you, and to honor you all the days of my life. All the days of my life. And you keep affirming yourself as you say, "I, Amanda, I, Amanda, take you, John Anthony, take you, John Anthony, to be my husband." I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you. To love you. And to honor you. And to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. 
May the Lord in his kindness strengthen the consent you have declared before the church and graciously bring to fulfillment his blessing within you. What God joins together, let no one put asunder. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Lord bless these rings, which you will give to each other, as a sign of love and fidelity. Amen. This ring, this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the, Father, and of the, Son, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. this time, I now ask everyone to please stand. Dear brothers and sisters, as we call to mind the special gift of grace and charity by which God has been pleased to crown and consecrate the love of our sister Amanda and our brother John Anthony, let us commend them to the Lord, that these faithful Christians newly joined in holy matrimony may always enjoy health and well-being. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our country and those who defend it, may our men and women who serve in the military be, military be kept safe from all harm. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our guests gathered here with us today, may they enjoy the warm company of family and friends and have safe travel on their journey home. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for John, Anthony, and Amanda. May they live long, blessed lives together, and may their love grow stronger each and every day. May they build a home rooted in faith and unconditional love. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all the faithful departed, especially for Uncle Jeff, Grandpa Mike, Papa Pete, Meehan, Grandpa John, Aunt Diane, and Grandpa, and Grandma. And all those who have died, may they know the peace and fullness of eternal life with God 
we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Graciously pour out upon this husband and wife, O Lord, the spirit of your love, to make them one heart and one soul, so that nothing whatever may divide those you have joined, and no harm come to those you have filled with your blessing. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And let us pray in the words that our Savior has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And now the bride and groom shall receive the nuptial blessing of the most holy Roman Catholic Church. Let us pray humbly, let us humbly invoke God's blessing upon this bride and groom, that in his kindness he may favor with his help those on whom he has bestowed the sacrament of matrimony. O God, who by your mighty power created all things out of nothing, and when you had set in place the beginnings of the universe, formed man and woman your own image, making the woman separable helpmate to the man, that they might no longer be two, but one flesh, and taught what you are pleased to make one must never be divided. O God, who consecrated the bond of marriage by so great a mystery, that in the wedding covenant you foreshadowed the sacrament of Christ and his church, O God, by whom by woman is joined to man, and the companionship they had in the beginning is endowed with the one blessing, not forfeited by original sin, nor washed away by the flood. Look now with favor on these your servants joined together in marriage, who ask to be strengthened by your blessing. Send down on them the grace of the Holy Spirit, and pour your love into their hearts that they may remain faithful to the marriage covenant. May the grace of love and peace abide in your daughter Amanda, and let her always follow the example of those holy women whose praises are sung in the scriptures. May her husband entrust his heart to her, so that acknowledging her as his equal and his joint heir to the life of grace, he may show her due honor, and cherish her always with the love that Christ has for his church. And now, Lord, we implore you, may these your servants hold fast to the faith and keep your commandments made one in the flesh. May they be blameless in all they do, and with the strength that comes from the gospel, may they bear true witness to Christ before all. May they be blessed with children, prove themselves virtuous parents, who live to see their children's children, and grant that reaching at last together the fullness of years for which they hope, they may come to the life of the blessed in the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you who are gathered here, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.